It is Taco Tuesday, and with it came a Taco Tuesday release, as well as a Mogloween release. Let's jump in and check it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and tap that like button, smash the subscribe, and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. We are going to be heading to the House of Oddities in Battleon, and the reason why is because we're going to be turning around and heading out the door. To the left-hand side, you're going to be seeing a monstrous, hideous taco. Look at the eyeballs on that thing, it's so gross. And over here, you've got Tito Taco, is that how you say it? In here, you've got some quests that you can do. So you've got taco meat, taco shell, cheese, veggies, and what is this? Okay, so you can actually just purchase the stuff you want right here that you can use. These are the ingredients, and you'd be doing these quests and getting the ingredients, and this is what you need to do for each one. I'll be making a video specifically on these stuff. Next, you have make tacos, and then you have the taco right here. This shows what you need in order to make the taco. Right down here, Taco Tuesday. That's two. That's a good one. This is a daily that you can do right here. Now, you're going to be getting two tacos, and you need to get your free tacos. Very easy. All you have to do is challenge this guy right here. That's the big boss right behind me. And then you've got Taco Day Shop. And this is where you can spend your tacos. So you've got this one here, 500 Dragon Crystals for that. Let's check it out. There it is. That's very nice. You've got the Taco Pet. And I worked my butt off to get the other pet. And I haven't got this one yet. So I need to remember to get that one. This is the one that I had ended up getting. Is that cheese hanging out of his mouth? I think it is. The Taco. Look at this. It's in his mouth. I forgot about that. That's hilarious. You got the head. That's pretty gross. Look at that. I'd, I've never seen anybody wear that head, by the way. And then you got the Taco Commander. I've seen people wear that. Then you've got some Libre. Libre jumpsuit. A bow. I don't even have this bow. How do I not have this bow? Daggers. And of course, last but not least, the bobber, which I do have this as well, because I mean, you've got to have the Taco Bobber. Next, we're going to be jumping to the town square. And here, we're going to be looking for Mix. Mix is the little cauldron right over there. Now, you notice my back piece right here. This is actually Mix's shield thing. You can see the name Mix right on it. That was from a Hero Mart item, I believe. I believe that's how I got it. So this is Mix. And you've got the 2021 Mogulian Collection, but it's not available just yet. This will be coming probably next week or the week after that. We'll be getting to these in a minute. You do have some past Mogloween collections. Now in here, you do have a trove as well. I'll get to that in a moment. But you have the Mogloween Collection 2017. And I won't show everything in here because it just take way too long. But I will show some of the stuff. That's the back piece. You've got the armor right there. This is the Trollenstein armor and then the head which is that's pretty cool actually i like the head and of course this now i actually have this i had bought this one and my cousin had ended up buying this one which is really cool you've got the dead head so if you want to be a zombie mm, perfect and you've got the hammer that looks like thor's hammer kind of it's really nice and then the creeping curse one this that goes really good with my set in the 2018 collection, you've got Rip Rod, the deadly spider legs. And I believe that was the very first spider travel form we got in the game, if I recall. Was there no pet for this one? Huh. You do have the Numra armor set as well as a head. Or you can go with the hood or both. You get the Scarab cape. This is a wicked awesome sword. It's pretty big. If you really love spiders, how about one on your back? You've got the pumpkin carver hand. Now, we already have better stuff than this in the game. So this is not as good as what we have now. But back then, it was awesome. These are really cool weapons. You have, there's three. There's, oh yeah, that's the spectral version. And then you have this weapon. Really awesome. And then the spectral version of it. And then this weapon and the spectral version of it. That's what you have in that collection. 2019 
is one of my favorite collections. This is a travel form you get that is gorgeous with two Moglin pets that you get as well. You get the Headless Horseman pumpkin head. That is really neat with the flames and everything. And his sword, look at that. Even his pistol is really cool. If you don't want to have his head, you could just have a flame head. That is neat. The 2021 brought two more travel forms and two different pets. So let's check these out. The Witch on the Broom and then you have the Warlock on the Broom. And I don't use those that often, but they're pretty neat. Then you have the Ghoulish Gourd, which is just this regular looking pumpkin, but it's cool. And then a kitty cat. Get the Mogloween bow, which I actually don't really use that either. And I don't know why. It's awesome. Or the caster, which is a fishing rod, which goes perfect with this bobber. If you get a mess to clean up, this will do perfectly. The Gordian Knight sword. And that is the helmet for the Gordian Knight. These are the shoulders. Look at those shoulders. You have a Dr. Bloodstone's armor set, and this is a really awesome looking cape. So those are the collections. Then you have this trove right here. Now, this is not a collection in the same sense. You don't purchase this with Dragon Crystals, but anybody can get this trove. Now, this is the stuff that I have in the trove so far, and I will be doing more of the trove. But this right here explains how you can get this stuff. So you speak to the mayor, which I will be showing you how to do that. And then you've got the quest. Completing the quest, adding to your trove will give you a pet, which will give you access to the trove. And then you'll be able to unlock it. And this is available right now. I'll give you an example of some of the things that you can get. So you've got this boo blue skelly suit. And you also have this, which is a full armor set. I'm not going to bother showing you that though. You've got the iron bat armor set. I will give an example. You've got the iron bat wings. Look at those. Or the dark ghoulish gourd head. Now, I don't know if this is guardian only or if this was available to everybody. I'm not sure. If you want to be a wolf man, you've got the mask right there. My favorite thing in the collection is this raven. Look at that. And this weapon is really cool. Now let's check out some of these locations. First, we're going to go to the Zorbax Raveyard. As you can see, Raveyard is a perfect name for this place. You're going to find Zorbag right here. You can talk to him and you've got the Raveyard Crafts. In here, you have this weapon right here, the Gordite Scythe Blade and the Batwing Scythe Blade with a little bass flying around it. Next, we'll check out the Haunted House. And this takes you to this location right here where you're going to be seeing Thaddeus Gloom. Right over there, you've got the Trollenstein monster, which you can fight. He also has drops there as well. There is quest. Now, there is a quest line actually here. And then you've got this right here where you'll get the hollowed candle. And you can use that to craft stuff in here. So you have Noble's outfit. And in here is the Noble's outfit. I'll let you check that out on your own. You've got the pumpkin masks right here the dark ghoulish now is this this is where i got the thing it doesn't say does it say it's guardian only it does not and then you've got these other regular pumpkins too but they're actually pretty cool there's other drops you can get in this location as well and i will be doing a video all about the drops in mogloween so you have the mistcroft manor and in here is where you're gonna find mix and there's some more quest lines in here that you would need to complete to really enjoy yourself here you've got the mogloween oh well, you've got access to all this other stuff and you have the mogloween quest now these are the repeatables because i don't have any other quests available since i did the quest line you've got the mogloween crafting and you have quite an option in here of things to craft first of which is this is where i got the deluxe wolfman mask and you also have which stuff as well and this is really neat you've got so you've got the regular witch armor set and then you have an upgraded some of the pieces are upgraded like the spooky witch hat or the boots spooky witch shoes i should say sorry they're not boots or you have these ones as well there's also this is my broom stick this is a shotgun and you have the pumpkin Things. This was my favorite stuff in here for a really long time. I really love this stuff. The Grave Raider. I don't remember this. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot all about that. And the Grave Raider, which is just the sword. I forgot all about that. And this is one of my favorite sets. Now, these are actually, these have stats, believe it or not. I didn't realize these were scaled items. So anyways, yeah, you have that. Now, apparently on mobile, these things are not animated. They're animated on PC, but I guess on mobile, they're not. This being a huge weapon, look at that. You've also got the Pumpkin Mancer armor set, and this is a really cool set. Here's a scythe for it right here. A gorgeous scythe with a really neat hood. That actually kind of goes with this. And you have the Manor attire, and this is a bunch of other stuff in here like Lord Skellybrow. I'll let you check out those for yourself. In this location there are dungeons and you've got four different dungeons on here. Now these are scaled. You need to be level five and up to do those. And then on this side you have one dungeon which is a rather difficult dungeon. This is a level 15 and up. That spectral dungeon used to give good XP. I don't know if it still does or not but you could definitely Try it when you're doing your grind for the items there. Last location is the Miscroft Town. This place is amazing. I love this town. Look at that big thing there. And you've got the welcome to Miscroft with a raven up there, a big thing up there. And around here you do have a couple. I think there's one right there. Yep, there's one right there. That's a, oh, you can't really see it. Lumberjacked. And there's a few others or a couple, a couple others in this location as well that are world bosses. So they spawn on a timer. Like I think it's a 10 or 15 or 20 or half an hour timer, something like that. I'll have more details when I do my drop video. Here you're gonna be finding Mare McPumpkins. And in here, you're gonna have the Mongoloween pets. There's three different pets that you can get. Now they're all the same looking, but they're different colors. So you have a green, a pink, and a white. You also have access to some of these concoctions and what these do is these can turn you, this turns you green, this one turns you blue, and this one turns you kind of like a whitish. Now those just cost one dragon crystals. You do have these ones here which you could buy for 900 and you can keep these forever. Unfortunately, they only have a duration of two minutes which means you have to constantly redo it which is kind of annoying. I ended up just keeping mine in the bank because I just didn't want to have to keep turning it on constantly. So the novelty was neat, but it wore out quickly. The past Mongoloween collections is where you'll be finding your trove. And this is where you've got your quests in here. So you have your fishing and you can get, so I can get the creepy classic skelly thing, which I don't have, which is weird. So I'll show you what the requirements for that would be needing. And then this one here, now you'd be needing to get this item right here to continue on because I do have one of these things. When I was trying to complete it last year, it just didn't get around to it. This is another one. You would need to get the Grave Raider and Shield from the Haunted House. And then you have the special Mogloween bow. Now this is dropped from that haunted house in the dungeon that I was telling you was rather difficult for 15 plus that's where you get that and then once you have all this you can, can turn this in and then da -da -da, you've completed your trove if you talk to this person right over here they're the ones who has this armor set and this is the armor set that you'd be needing in order to complete that other one it showed one of the I think it was the hat so you'd be needing to make this and you need candy in order to get this armor set. It would take a lot of candy to get that full set, but probably worth it if you're trying to turn in and get the entire trove. Right here, you're gonna be finding this little bugger right here. Andy Corn is his name. And what is this? Nothing, just, okay, talking. You've got the candy shop. And I believe it is in here, there it is. The creepy classic. So I need 50 candy fish in order to get this armor set and I can then turn in that quest. I turn in this quest right here and I would be completing this, adding this armor set to my trove. You've also got a quest right here, the empty box of candy. Now you get 5,000 candy from this. The downside is you can only get it by buying this thing which costs 100 dragon crystals. You've got some different items in here that you can get. Pumpkin, I don't remember this. Oh, okay, I do vaguely. But you have all of the skelly suits in here. There are several different colors, quite a few different 
colors, a dark ghoulish gourd bobber. I don't have this either. That is awesome. The 10th anniversary helm for AQ World. This, that is really cool that they had, had added these. I never wear it, but it is still really neat to have an AQ World representation in this game. All of this stuff you can get with candy, which is really cool. But I'll let you guys check that out yourself. We're going to be heading up into this doorway right here. This is another way to get inside of the laboratory. And in here, you can talk to Dr. Trollenstein. He has some quests that you can do. Weird science, weird AP science, and extra credit. Now, this is a daily i believe these are all dailies in fact yes they are they are all dailies where you get experimental chunks and whatnot this is okay this is where you can spend your experimental chunks to get these items which you can then use to get the items in here this is where you get the iron bat armor set now i already showed you the wings and the weapon is not in here you need to get the weapon it's a drop in the dungeon You've also got the mad scientist stuff as well. Now, this is the actual outfit he is wearing. So you're literally, you could literally look like this guy right here. Now, his helm is also dropped in this dungeon right here. So you'd be running this dungeon and you have the extreme science, which is level 15 plus or level, level 17 plus, really? It said 15 plus right there. Liars. And I can do a guide to cover all of these locations, although I have done a guide on these places in the past. So if you guys are new to Mogloween, what do you guys think of what you've seen so far? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging.